This video will talk about Bernoulli equations, which equations are of the form y prime plus p of t y equals to q of t times y to the n. So these equations are first order differential equations, but they're not linear because of y to the n, when n can be any uh, integer. So these equations are named after Jacob Bernoulli, um, one of the uh, very famous mathematicians in Switzerland in the 1700s. Well, there's three different cases that we want to uh, discuss here. The first case is what happened when n equals to 0. So when n equals to 0, the equation will become y prime plus p of t y equals to q of t. When this is just a linear first order differential equations, and you know that you can use either integrating factor or variation of parameter to solve for this equation. In the case when n equals to 1, then the equation becomes y prime plus p of ty equals q of ty. And if you divide, if, if y is not 0, then you can divide um, the whole equation by y to get a separable equation. And we know how to solve a separable equation, just integrating both sides um, to solve for y. All right, um, the next case is when n is not equals to 0 or 1. Then you have just an, a Bernoulli equations um, without you know a special cases. So if this is the case, then you let v, you call a new variable v equals to y raised to 1 minus n. So if y equals to, uh, if v equals to y raised to 1 minus n, then you can solve for y by, um, you know, multiply y to the n by both sides. So you get y equals to v times y to the n. And then uh, you can find the derivative y v prime um, using implicit differentiations. Um, so then, but, and then you can solve for y prime in terms of v. Okay, so y prime would be equals to v over 1 minus n times y to the n, v of n at this point. And then you replace y prime and y uh, by v prime and v accordingly. So by replacing y prime by v prime and y by v, you will get this equation here. So you have v prime y to the n over 1 minus n plus b of t v times uh, y to the n equals to q of t times y to the n. Well, then I can do some simplifications. As you notice that this y to the n in every single term of the equation, meaning I can divide it by y to the n. Again, you can only divide it by y to the n when y is not 0. To get the next equations here, when you have an equations in terms of v and t. So if you look at these equations, it's just the first order linear differential equation. And from here, you know that you can solve for v and you can solve for y once you have v. So this method of solutions is, uh, was de developed by Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz in uh, the 1696. He's also, Leibniz is also another uh, very famous mathematician and was born in Germany. Um, He's um, one of the founders of uh, calculus, the modern calculus. All right. Well, let's look at an example. Uh, if you want to solve for this differential equations, you know, y prime equals to r times y minus k times y squared. And r and k are constants, and they are both uh, positive. Then you want to ask yourself, is this a Bernoulli equations? I would say yes, right, if you move the r, y to the other side, then you see that this is Bernoulli equation, and when n should be equals to 2, because y squared on the right side. 
then you can use a formula formed in the previous slide um, in order to you know uh, follow the process by let v equals to y raised to 1 minus n, which is 1 minus 2, and then you can solve for y here. Um, then you will have a new equation in terms of v, um, v prime 1 over 1 minus 2 plus negative r times v minus negative k. And then you can simplify it and then um, do another simplification step in order to get a nice first order linear differential equations in terms of v and t. Right, v is a dependent variable and the t is an independent variable. So since it's a first order linear differential equations, I can use integrating factor to solve for v let mu equals to e uh, raised to the integral of p of t, which is r d of t. So you can solve for mu, and then you can put mu uh, into the formula in order to solve for v. And once you have v, then you can um, solve for y by taking 1 over v and to get to your solutions for this differential equations. Again, Bernoulli differential equations, Bernoulli equations are equations in a certain form. Once you have an equation in the same form, you can use this technique in order to solve for that equations. It's the first non-linear order differential equations.